Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at some science fair projects. I've been asked in the past for some examples of science fair projects. And I made a few videos, and this is one of them. This is a spinning top, and I'll spin it. We'll let it go. Now this top, it will go on for hours. That was one of the projects. And I have some other projects, and I'll show you some clips. Then we'll get into a vibration um, science fair project. Which, I'll, which will be the main focus of this video. Now you could build this as a fun project or a science fair project for your kids. Now I've built a few of these and there's a few different ways of building them. This one uses a Hall effect sensor to measure the distance between the electromagnet and the permanent magnet. So this is my electromagnet and I have a spacer in between the electromagnet and my Hall effect switch so it won't interfere with the readings. And then I have a microcontroller that's reading the Hall effect switch and controlling the electromagnet to keep the magnet levitated. So it's pretty stable. I could spin it and I could take the weight off. I could just put the magnets in there. Okay, I put a little duct seal underneath the battery to hold it in place and then mounted the magnet on top of the battery and gave the armature a spin and away she goes. Now if you look at the very top of this uh, pop bottle, you'll see my diver up there and I could bring him down by applying a pressure to the bottle. I could bring him down slow, I could bring him down fast, I could bring him up to the center, I could hover and bring him back up. So I have total control of my diver just by putting pressure on the bottle. Okay, here's the setup for my Vibration Science Fair project. So I have a cantilever, it's about 7 inches long, and it's bolted to a 2x4, and it's a piece of aluminum, which is about 1 8 inch thick, and I have a bolt attached to it with a nut on it, and I have a little motor on there with a counterweight, so it will vibrate, it's offset, so when it spins it will vibrate, and I have that connected up to a MOSFET driver, which is controlled by my SCAMP 3 board, with PWM. So at a certain RPM of the motor, we're going to get a certain vibration, and when it resonates, it's going to move the nut. Okay, so now you know why we use lock washers, lock nuts and Loctite when we put together machinery so when we get some vibration they won't come loose. <laughs> 